Hi there folks, it's Jonathan Denwood from WP Tonic and in this video I'm going to be discussing Mighty Networks. If you're looking to build a community on the web, it's one of the leading SaaS solutions. There are others. Um, I think I've got some real insights to share with you. It's got some great features. It's got some that aren't so great. I'm going to give you some honest insights. I'm going to go for a quick break. I'll be back in a few moments, folks. Coming back, so Mighty Networks, let's start with the good points. Um, it's built um, to build a community. Let's say you have built a community on Facebook, Facebook group, um, but you don't want to rely solely on Facebook. And Facebook groups are great, but they have limitations. So um, let's say you built a community on a Discord um, platform, the same applies, or Slack. I found that people that are looking at Mighty Networks, they come from either Facebook, Discord, or Slack, and they're looking for a more polished and a more interactive um, platform which they can build their community on. They normally want to combine it with membership as well. The other factor that really strongly uh, influences people to look at Mighty Networks is they offer a app. Um, I'm going to give you some real honest feedback here based on my experience. A lot of people look at the app functionality much too early. Um, I've had people that have just started to build a membership website and they haven't even built a community presence even on something like work on Facebook, but they, they, they want to build a community straight away. I personally think if, if you're starting on your road to build a, a successful membership business, which is an excellent idea. I think adding the complexity of trying to build a community on top of trying to build engagement at your membership is a bit too much to start off. But it's dependent on your experience. You know, some people have a lot of experience on internet marketing, on community they've run other large communities with people so they've got a bit more experience so it's really on a case-to-case -case basis what i've just said um i also get a lot of people that really get fixated about having an app at a very early stage and i think what i've just said about the community side applies to the app um, I think building an audience and really getting a successful membership website linked to communities, um, the important thing to really concentrate. But if you feel that will really benefit and you're getting a lot of requests from your from your community to have an app, obviously um, you should try and please your community. Um, if that's the case, um, Mighty Networks does provide a free app that works on um, OS, OS and on Android. The thing is, it you can't white label it at the at the thirty nine or the business level, um, which is around one hundred and nineteen dollars. You get the app but it has all Mighty Networks um, branding all over it. But it's a good starting point, but you've got to be aware of that. To get rid of the branding, you have to go to the Mighty Networks Pro level, and they don't publicise the charges um, for that. Um, I've heard on the grapevine it's quite expensive. Um, the 
in the you know thousands and thousands and thousand price level. I think it's a case by case. They make an assessment on how much they think you can afford, um, but that's only my personal opinion. What are the strengths? Its strengths is is the forums, the community element elements um, that it offers. They are quite well thought out. It used to be a bit of a mess in truth, but about 18 months ago, they did a bit of a redesign and it's pretty good now. It does the business. Where um, where it falls out, there's a couple of things. It's around the membership side of it that it falls down a bit. The actual lesson, it uses sessions and lessons um, 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 wording so really the sessions are courses and, and then you've got the lessons, right? At most of the other competi competition uses courses, lessons, they use sessions, lessons. It's all the much the same. The actual um, session and lesson editor is quite primitive in some ways, does the job. Um, also on the marketing side, it does provide landing page functionality, but they're very basic functionality and customization options you get. Also, um, it doesn't really offer direct integrations with any marketing optimization SaaSes that you're looking at, like Active Campaign. It does provide Zapier, um, but Zapier, I always look at Zapier as the final solution when, you, when you're dealing with a SaaS platform. It's always better if you've got more kind of native integration into a third-party SaaS platform. Mighty Networks doesn't offer that. Costs, like I say, the basic starts at around $39. The next plan up is around 115 I think. And then they've got the pro version, but you've got to ask them how much that is. Now, I want to point out one of the things I don't like with it is that there's an extra, they, they charge anybody that signs up subscription, they want to cut. On the basic, it's 3% on all transactions. On the next level, it's 2%. And I don't know what they're offering, what they want for the pro. I would imagine they don't take a cut. I don't like that. Also, um, the shopping cart is pretty basic. Um, you've got to click a lot. Um, and you're better off. It does offer integration with something like Sam Cart or Thrive Cart. Um, but when it... Its solution out the box isn't that particularly good, in my opinion. So, you know, it's a bit of a letdown, to be truthful. Um, anything else? I think I think its strengths is the actual community side. That's not surprising because it, you know, it's mighty networks, um, and also a lot of people get attracted by the app. But I got reservations about jumping into the app. I've also I think you know there's other solutions. It's main well let's let's talk about the main competitors, really. There's three actually. Um a lot of people look at mighty networks that are also looking at Kajabi. Now Kajabi recently bought uh, a startup that was in the in the community sector, and they're implementing that into their main platform. So there's a lot more um, cross fertilization. You know, um, Kajabi's taking the fight to mighty networks in some ways. Um, it is quite a polished um, platform, Kajabi, um, but you have to pay for that. So that's it. I don't know at the, how far they've got the integration. They bought this company about a year ago. Um, another SaaS player that is, in my opinion, a bit more polished than um, Mighty Net Networks is Circle. Um, but I think they don't have an app. 
I have to double check that, but they don't think they provide an app. That's why a lot of people still look at Mighty Networks. Um, and, then the, and the last one on the list is Buddy Boss, which is a WordPress solution. We offer that at WP Tonic. They, um, we only offer the website functionality. If you want the app functionality, you have to buy that from Mighty um, from Buddy Boss um, themselves. Um, and I think it's only OS. I don't think they've got Android functionality with that, but it's that, but it's fully customizable, uh, white labeled, and it's at a much cheaper price than Mighty Networks. So it's definitely something to look at at the right stage. I'm going to end this video. Hopefully you found it informative. Um, I didn't want the video to go too long. Um, if you did, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell as well. And if you want any, if you've got any questions, you can leave a comment underneath and I'll answer any, any questions you've got. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. It's been great chatting with you. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.